Hello, fellow Kerbal enthusiasts! My name is Misfit from the Co-op Guys. We're back with Kerbal Space Program. So, let's get right back into our game here. Uh, so, last time we had a successful flyby of the moon. Went much better than I expected. Uh, even though I was planning on it, I did not expect it to su I did not expect it to succeed. So, what are we going to do today? Well, I thought I was going to shoot further afield than Kerbin and uh, the moon and Minimus. I thought I was going to go further out straight away, but I don't think I quite have enough to do that yet. So, we're going to go a bit traditional. We're going to try and land on the moon or Minimus. I haven't decided which. Probably the moon. Let's go for the moon. Why not? It's got a ton of biomes for lots of science ready for the picking, and we need some science to unlock some new gear. The main things that I am really looking for... Let's have a look. Bigger fuel tank would be nice. Fuel lines, or fuel ducts. We definitely want to get our hands on them. And what else do we want? Uh, Rocket Max fuel tanks would be nice, but not necessarily the most important thing at the moment. Solar panels would be great for transmitting science back. Thermometer would be good for getting more science. And those are the main th three. I can even probably do without the thermometer for now and just go for... Well, actually, solar panels is the main thing. So solar panels and fuel ducts. That's what we're aiming for. So... I'm going to cut away here, and I'm going to design a craft which will hopefully take us to the moon! Or mun. Mun? Moon? Who really cares? I'm going to build a ship! May I present to you the Triforce 5 Macro Lift? This is the rocket I have designed. It is a hell of a lot bigger than the previous ones, that's for sure, and they're just going to keep getting bigger. <laughs> This design is very interesting. I've never actually made a rocket like this, and I tested it, and, and just to get it into orbit around Carbon, I really, really like this design. Um, but just to show you what we've got, we are taking advantage of the new uh, radio decouplers. Uh, we've got the smaller one. The camera in this bit is not very good, but you can see one here. That's the standard radio decoupler, and then the elongated ones are here. I actually can't remember if I used radio decouplers in the previous one. Maybe, maybe not. But we've got the extended ones here for the big boosters. We're using the, we're using the smaller boosters, we're using the big boosters, and we're also using these tricouplers for the first time. Uh, just, to, <laughs> just to get a, a few more rockets in the same stage. We're using our uh, stabilizers here to keep the whole thing together, and we're using tons and tons of struts. Now, there's so many struts in this design. Just to give you a bit of comparison between the last rocket and this one, uh, the last one had like 69 parts in it, this one has 479. <laughs> so yeah, it is a bit of a beast. But we have Kerbin, Kerman, ready to go. Let's turn on our SES, let's throttle up, that won't last forever. And in a three, two, one, boom! And it's very, very, very loud for me. I have no idea if that's going to translate to the video. These extra boosters are an addition because these just qu weren't quite enough to get us into orbit. And we're starting to roll again. I can't remember which way I'm supposed to roll. It's not quite intuitive. I think I'm going the right way. Okay, but we're going up pretty straight, and that's the main thing. We're going up pretty straight, and it's all good. Oh yeah, I also forgot to say, we've got our bat new batteries at the top here, and we've also got our new science juniors. This whole structure at the top is our new lander with tons of landing legs on it, so should be good to go for this mission. Hopefully we'll get to the moon. But let's worry. Let's worry about the task at hand. Let's worry about getting into orbit first, because uh, no longer the same. We're actually going to throttle down our engines here because we're kind of wasting fuel. 
when you get to about 200 meters per second, uh, you're actually starting to fight against the atmosphere when you're in the thicker part of the atmosphere here, which is about, about 10,000 meters. We're going to lose our, our first st stage of boosters in a wee second. Here we go. And say goodbye to them. Whee! <laughs> oh, Sempertrons are awesome. Okay. Let's throw it up a little bit because uh, we lost a bit of speed there. Oh, there we go. A little bit of acceleration. There we go. So, now we're going to lose a big boosters in a minute. But that's alright. We're should be able to get to 10 kilometers without too much trouble. We're rolling again. Not much. I still don't know which direction to roll. <laughs> the amount of times I've played this game, you'd think I would know rolling which button rolls in which direction. Okay, so 200 meters per second, we're okay. I'm going to have to throw it back up in a minute because these guys are about to go bye-bye. No separate choice of these guys, but they're far enough away from the rocket. Goodbye. They could just fall straight down and not hit the rocket. Oh, that was worrying. And this throttle up all the way. We're going to need it now. Maybe not all the way. Just a little bit longer. So, I'm not sure what actually happened here. I noticed this in the test. There were supposed to be struts linking these things together, but they kind of got connected to the stabilizers instead. Bit of a design flaw, but... Uh, it seems to be okay, but we're at 10 kilometers, so let's throttle up all the way, and let's start doing our gravity turn. And over at 90 degrees, and we should be good. But this thing is sturdy as hell. I've never made a more stable rocket in my life in this game. So I am very, very chuffed with this. Uh, oh, since we got our science juniors, maybe we should use one. Uh, let's take one here. Observe materials bay from here. So, less resilient samples appear to have splattered around the interior. 17 and a half science. Let's keep that. Um, I'll take a crew report, but I don't think... Oh, 3.5. Yeah, okay. Above Carbon Shores. Interesting. Alright, well, since we're above Carbon Shores, let's take a mystery goo as well. Okay, that'll, that'll do. Then we've got more than enough science for this uh, for this mission. Let's toggle our SES because it's getting a bit weird. Uh, we might be going up a bit shallow, so let's just try and get a little bit more height. This is kind of the direction that we're going. We want it to stay about 90 until we're high enough. Let's check our map. Um, yeah, that's okay. It's taking us longer and longer to get to our apoapsis, so that's just, just fine and dandy. We don't want to get too far away from it, though. Yeah, we're still coming a bit shallow. I guess this rocket is a bit too heavy for these engines, which we are about to lose. But how much height are we getting? Alright, let's go for a little bit more height, I think. A little bit more height just before we lose them. So, how you doing, Carbon? Oh, he's doing alright, he's quite content. Either that or he is scared out of his wits. <laughs> he's just in shock. Okay, here we go. Woohoo! And they're gonna blow up in a sec. Boom! That's how you make an exit from a planet. Okay, so. So our next stage of rockets. These are just to help us get us out of the atmosphere and hopefully these will take care of firing us at the moon. So what's our apple says no come oh come on. Get us a bit there get it. get us there a bit quicker, will you? Actually we're almost out of the atmosphere, so we should pick up a lot more speed a lot more quickly. And that's exactly what's happening here. So when we get to about, let's say, 105, we will cut our engines, but we'll throttle down a bit for that first. And there we go. So let's have a look at what our, what's left of our glorious vessel here. This thing looks pretty cool as well. <laughs> I actually quite like the way it looks. Oh, poor debris. We will see you next time. Not you. <laughs> Not the viewers. I'm just talking to the debris. <laughs> that could have been confusing. So, 
Let's set our maneuver and let's get into orbit. Whoops. 161, far too much. We don't want to be doing that. We want a nice stable orbit for this. Because uh, the more stable an orbit you can get, the easier it will be to orbit the moon. And I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this orbit. And this maneuver sucks. Oh, you are in space. Be amazed you are in space. Come on. 19. <sighs> uh, this might take a bit of finagling. Come on. Wrong direction. Let's go for that way. One, two, one, twelve. Bring it down a bit. Uh, just a tiny amount. Move it just a tiny amount. There we go. I think that's going to be good enough. Um, and now that we're prepared on SES alone, it, the only SES is coming from this module, and this is a big ship for that to be pushing around. So moving it's pretty slow. But we're coming up on our maneuver here. Our maneuver. That was a bit weird. Uh, <laughs> Now let's just not forget about taking science when we need to. Should we take another science junior, I wonder? Now we're in orbit around Kerbin. We might do that in a mo. Possibly. Uh, or we might save all three for the moon. Screw it, we're taking one now. Observe materials bay! 25 science! Keep that. Uh, did we take a crew report? Oh, nope. Review report, and let's transmit that We're using our new comms array. So which six on the back here? Oh, I've got a good view of it. There it is. Folds out, transmits the data, and then folds back away, back into the ship. And now we can have to start burning because we almost missed that. <laughs> well, that could have been bad. Sorry, Mission Control. I failed to get into orbit. I was too busy looking at the radio. This should be enough to get us into orbit. I really hope so. If not, we're going to have to use some of our lander fuel just to stabilize. I think we're going to be alright, though. Getting us settled in nice orbit around Carbon. I don't know what the angle is yet. We'll check that in a minute. Oh, let's take another crew report. Eh, we've already done that one, damn it. Okay, oh, I should have done EVA. I'm so unprepared, so disorganized. All this science I could be getting and just wasting it. We're getting close. Let's throw it down. And stop. Let's see what do we end up with? 99, 120. Ugh. Could have been better. Could have been a lot worse too. Okay, now let's go to the moon. So we're going to set the moon as our target. Let's check our nodes. No need to check. They are perfect. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's, uh... Ah! <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Okay. Screw the nodes. Let's, uh... Let's go to the moon. So the moon's moving this way around Carbon. So we kind of want to... Head to the moon about here, I think. So let's just see what happens. Don't know if I showed this last time. If you're trying to get to another planet and you set a maneuver, you get this thing up um, on your orbit and on their orbit. So this says where you are when you are closest to your target, and this is the target's position when you are closest to it. So basically, it says when I get to here, the moon is going to be here. So we need to go a bit faster. Maybe. Oh, 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 see, it changes a bit. Um, but I don't like that angle. Let's uh, move this around. Yep, that's a bit better. And let's break. Oh, oh. Very fine tuning in this game. Whoop. Oh, okay, so that's going to make us crash into the moon. Oh. We want to try and get a. Nice little periapsis going, but that's not right. 
Mm, 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 We'll start from crashing into the planet and work our way to orbit. <laughs> uh, no, not good enough. Oh, what's going on with this? Alright, tell you what. Give me a minute and I'll get. I'll try and get a decent maneuver going here. Nailed it! <laughs> Alright, so this maneuver is going to take us within 15 kilometers of the moon. So, let's have a look at our beautiful ship. How you doing, Carbon? He's still in shock. All right. <laughs> is this his first time in space? I wonder if it is. Because I've definitely taken Kenfred and the immortal Neil Trey. <laughs> Bloody Neil Trey. Can't believe I survived. Oh, wow. Look how much little fuel we got left in this. Ugh. I'm going to have to use some of our lander fuel to get out there. But our burn's not going to be that long, so... Yeah. Ooh. This awesome little ship. Let's get closer and have a look at you. Oh, you beauty. <laughs> okay, that sounded a bit creepy. Okay. Let's just get lined up for our maneuver, which occurs in 17 minutes, and I'm still rolling, so I'm just going to speed up time. Cheaty stop. <laughs> and let's not screw this up. Actually, you know what, before we do anything, quick save! 14, 13, 12, 11. Okay, um, the numbers might be a bit off for this burn. In fact, we're going to have to burn early now that I think about it. Because... These things are almost completely out of fuel. So, this is based on the more... This calculation is based off the more powerful engines in the back. When these break off, we've got uh, less powerful engines down here. You guys might not be able to see this, this might be a bit too dark. Uh, we've got less powerful engines sitting in here, so they're going to need longer to burn. So I reckon our burn time here is about 26 seconds. I reckon it'll probably be about triple that. So we're going to start burning at 2 minutes 45. Let's see what happens. 3, 2, one slow down time by a bit. Uh, uh, mm. Controlling time is very, very tricky. Don't let your teachers tell you otherwise. And let's burn. Uh, okay. <laughs> Whee! So yeah, those rockets didn't last very long in that maneuver. Uh, God, one minute forty-five. Okay, I wasn't too far off. Maybe I estimated it a bit too long. Let's turn our SES back on. Thank you. Okay, so we're burning towards Moon. There goes our wrap wraps this out. Minimum. That's how much speed we need to gain. Oh, I'm really worried about the fuel here. We're going to need some to slow down at the moon. <laughs> if we can't slow it down, then what is the point? <laughs> We're just going to crash into the sucker. How you doing, Carbon? Another one? Still in shock, this guy. Oh, hello. Is it? I don't know what that was. Do you want to do it again? Okay, he seems, he seems to be recovering a bit. So, another 20 seconds for the burn. Okay, we might have enough fuel. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so now we're getting close. Ten seconds away. We're gonna have to start throttling down because we want to get this right. Because that was really finicky to get that when it was plotting the maneuver. It's gonna be just as finicky when we're flying it. So I'm gonna throw down a little bit more. Take it nice and slow. I want to get this right the first time. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go, here we go. 
engines are barely on here. Oh, and cut the engines. Six kilometers off. You kidding me? Nice. Okay, so we're gonna come in at about twenty. Hang on. Fourteen. There we go. Fourteen kilometers. We did it. <laughs> All right. So we are now on course for the moon. Give me one little second. I just need to check how long I've been recording for. Okay, we're nearly at the end of the episode, but we are on course for the moon, and I'm not going to leave you hanging that much. Uh, <laughs> well, while we're here in orbit, let's, uh, since this is your first time in space, Carbon, let's uh, put you in space. Ta-da! Oh, I've forgotten how to control these guys, actually. It's been a little while since I last played this game. So, let go. Turn on RCS, and back away from the one thing that keeps you alive. And then have a look around. Oh, see, now he's better. That's all you needed for your shock treatment was to go out into the vacuum of space where it's freezing cold and could kill you in seconds. And take an EVA report while you're here. Oh, nothing new. Oh, well. Our last mission was too successful, I think. But let's actually test one of our new features out, because I've not actually done this before. But as I said bef uh, in a previous episode, these uh, these uh, science juniors and mystery goos... Sorry, just bounce off the... Sh oh, no, no, actually, don't bounce off it. Uh, these science goos and... Science, go science juniors and mystery goos, you can recover the data from it. Maybe. Maybe you can't do it while flying. Well, please pick it up. Ah! Collect the data. Uh, removing this experiment will render this module inoperable. Oh, let's do it anyway. So we've just picked up the data from that. And where was that mystery goo that I turned on? Is it that one? Uh, let's have a check around here. Where are you, activated mystery goo? One of these guys. There he is. Okay. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Oh, crud. <laughs> I'm really not used to piloting carbons. Collect the data before you mess something up. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> Come on. Come on. God, you have to get really close to these things. Collect the data. Remove the data. Thank you. Okay. So now that we've collected the data from those experiments, we can just get back to our command module, get back in, and these now have now been stored on the command module. So basically, this thing is dead weight, as is that. We don't need them anymore because we've got the, res the experiment results in our command module. And we are carrying it, so we, all we have to do, do now is to return the command module to Carbon, and we've got those experiments. So we don't need to carry these things around anymore, which is going to be really important when we get to the moon. Because to, in order to take off, we're going to get rid of these four parts here. Speaking of the moon, where are you? Yep, let's actually turn off the SAS, because it might adjust the orbit. Because we're going to say goodbye to Carbon and your really weird crater. Goodbye. See ya. Ciao. I'll be the scene. Ah, I can't remember the other one. <laughs> so there goes Carbon. Goodbye. And we're going to the moon again. We're going to the moon very quickly. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, are we going to get an eclipse? Are we going to get an eclipse? I just need to set something here. One second. Right, just so we know how far away it is before we get there. Right. Oh, please let there be an eclipse. Please let us see an eclipse. Come on. Let's be the time a bit more. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. Maybe. Maybe. 
Maybe... Maybe not. Dang it! <laughs> Looks like we're not gonna get an eclipse. <laughs> But here we are, we are now in the gravitational influence of the moon. Very, it's, it's, it's a, these angles are really, really weird, I've got to say. Uh, but, because like, you're, you know, as I said before, you're actually traveling in, the, in this kind of direction, but this is the direction you are moving in relation to the moon. But the moon is also moving, so, that will change every second. <laughs> but where are we? We are... Ah, oh, see, it, it changed. We were at 14, now we're at 18. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. We're gonna get into orbit. We're gonna break the first milestone we set in the last episode. Where we're not just gonna fly by the moon, we're gonna orbit the sucker. And... Our maneuver node is all over the place here. Let's speed up time a bit. Oh, there we go. So that's where you, that's where you are. So you're around about here. Awesome. Speed up time, speed up time. We are one hour away. I think we're probably just about going to get into orbit in this episode and then we'll have to leave it there, I am afraid. 13 minutes. Right, let's plot this maneuver properly this time. There's a periapsis. We want to burn retrograde. There. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. <gasps> oh god. Uh, is that the right way or the wrong way? Ten. Nineteen. Uh oh. Uh oh. That maneuver's gone awry. We're gonna crash it in the moon if we do that. Oh. Maneuver reset. <laughs> Get a bit closer. No, oh, this camera angle is terrible. Thank God I don't get paid for this, because uh, <laughs> I would be terrible at it. And all the, now the numbers are overlapping. I can barely tell what it is. Tell a lie. I can't tell what it is, but it's close enough. 14 and 18. So there's our maneuver. Let's get into position. Over the retrograde mark. There we go. And screenshot in the darkness. That was a brilliant idea of you. Oh, hang on. Here's a better screenshot. Boop. Okay. So here we go in about 11 minutes. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 that can't be right, that cannot be right. Two minutes? Oh, 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 camera's changing wildly. I'm not sure why. Two minutes, that's not right, that is not right. For only 276? No. We're gonna wait until... Uh, 30 seconds, I think. Hang on. Boop. Oh, get rid of the time warp sign. Go away. There we go. Much better. Right. <laughs> Sorry, taking screenshots. <laughs> I don't know why, because I don't know where they're saved. So, <laughs> if it just happens to be the thumbnail of the video, just rest assured I actually managed to find where those things were being saved. Now, if I sound a bit weird today, I'm actually recording this at almost quarter to three in the morning. So, <laughs> A little tired, been a long day. Just thought I'd come home and land on the moon. <laughs> okay, we're almost at 30 seconds and fire the engines now. Okay, a little early. A little early, but that's fine. It's okay. We just need a rough orbit because we want to find a nice, cozy place to land. Okay, can we highlight that? Yep. And let's just bring our engines down. No, cut the engines, cut the engines. Oh, wait a minute. I don't have control. Ah, that's why. We have no control. We have no control. Uh oh no 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 no
are you doing that? Why is you doing that? Why are you doing that? Okay. Uh, let's fix this orbit really quick. I'm guessing that will do it. 13, 18. Yeah, that'll do it. Now, quickly, where is that? I don't know how I messed that orbit, that maneuver up. Oh, there's the marker. There's the marker. Get over there quick. Go. Go, go, go. And this should stabilize us a bit. Oh, those markers moving. Cut the engines. Let's see what we ended up with. Whew. 18 and 12. Good enough. We are in the orbit of the moon. Bit close. There we go. We are in the orbit of the moon. Carbon is now he's typing his keyboard, he's getting ready to write a report. Maybe he even send an email back to back to Carbon. Who knows? Who cares? We're in <laughs> the ship is in orbit. I don't care about his arguments. And that is it for today's episode. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.